What is up, guys? Nick here, helping you to master your technology, and welcome to my OnePlus 8 unboxing and first impressions. Now, shout outs to OnePlus for sending this reviewer's kit out to review the OnePlus 8. You can see if we open the box, there's a little pamphlet included here that talks about a lot of the key and core features of this device. And let me tell you, for $699, there is a lot of them on this device. Now, also included in the box is a OnePlus 8 sandstone bumper case in the nice cyan color, it really depends on your preference. This is a new color though. We do have a nylon bumper case, which we've seen on prior OnePlus devices. Now, in addition to that, here is the OnePlus 8 box. Something different about these boxes is that they're a little bit longer than what I've seen before. So just a little bit of a different shape, just a different feel, but still red and black here. Now you can see this is the Interstellar Glow version and it's 12 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabyte ROM. This is the maxed out version right here so oneplus makes it easy to open this box up you simply just take the plastic off and you're kind of in there you don't really have to cut it away or nothing like that and it opens up nice and smooth and you can see we are presented with the oneplus logo right there we'll put that cardboard off to the side and you can see here is the interstellar glow oneplus 8 we'll check that out in a second let's see what's in the box here so you do get your USB-C cable, always preferred uh, having USB-C on my devices. You can see we do have our warp charger right there. So definitely a very fast charger as well. This thing will charge incredibly quick. And if we open up that cardboard, you can see there is a few things in here, such as your safety information, your never settle quick start guide, as well as your SAR ratings. For those of you worried about radiation, you can see exactly what radiation comes on this phone. Also some stickers and an invitation letter from the CEO. So I'll just go ahead and pause this right here if you guys want to just kind of read your little invitation letter in their pamphlet. Not all companies give you this little invitation letter, so it's kind of interesting if you just want to read that. Now over here, you do have the OnePlus 8. And if we take off this sleeve, let's check out the big deal here, which is this interstellar glow. Supposedly this thing will change between multiple different colors and multiple different angles. And uh, maybe depending on the angle you're looking at it, it's going to look like a totally different color. Now, I've seen this on other phones before, this is not the first time, but let me know what you guys think about getting an awesome color like this, you know, on the OnePlus 8. Do you think this is pretty dope or not? Let us know down below in the comments. Now, comparing this to the frosted material on something like the OnePlus 8 Pro, it's definitely gonna pick up fingerprints by comparison. The other one is a lot better at resisting uh, fingerprints, so keep that in mind when you are choosing a color on your OnePlus 8. But overall, definitely a smaller phone as you can see so far, but it doesn't seem to be as small as I thought it was going to be. It definitely, I don't think it's a compact phone like it was mentioned, but it's definitely a compact phone by comparison to the OnePlus 8 Pro, which is a very tall and large phone. So if you compare those two, definitely smaller, but not technically a compact, super compact device. It's just a smaller, big device. You can see booting it up, here is the OnePlus logo and we're just getting to this boot up process there's not really much going on here pretty standard to fair now while it's updating let's take a look at the body you can see no indentation like the oneplus 8 pro at the top we do have a microphone right there on the left volume rock there's nothing else aluminum frame around this baby and at the bottom you can see we do have usb-c and that's where our sim card tray will rest and we do have a speaker off to the right there some antenna slits in the middle now you can see we do have the silent switch something you don't get typically on other OnePlus devices. And we also do have the OnePlus logo right there on the top and the bottom. And you can see overall, definitely a clean design, I think, for this phone. There's no cameras off to the left, but that flash is embedded under the glass. So that makes it more protected than some other phones that keep it on the outside of the glass. Now, I found it interesting. When you are turning this phone on the setup process, they do walk you through how to use the gesture. So if you're unfamiliar with gestures, I think OnePlus really wants to get you to use these gestures, that's why they're kind of showing it to you when you are booting it up. But you still have the option to use the navigation keys if you would like. But standard out of the box, it comes with gestures. And so what else comes with this OnePlus 8? So Snapdragon 865, we have an X55 5G chip in here, 12 gigs of RAM, 256 gig ROM, 48 plus 16 plus 2 triple camera. So OnePlus said, if you want the quad, get the OnePlus 8 Pro. Well, here we're going to give you a triple camera now 90 hertz display now yeah that seems a little bit old 6.55 inches android 10 oxygen os the latest version but still this is the same 
display from the OnePlus 7 Pro, which was ultra smooth. So this one's still going to be ultra smooth, even though it's not the 120 Hz. The difference between 90 Hz and 120 Hz is a little bit harder to see, I found, than the 60 Hz to 90 Hz. That's a big difference. However, the 120 hertz, not as big of a difference I'm, I'm seeing. So what I mean by that is that when I'm using this phone, it also feels very smooth. And combine this with the new Android 10 gestures where you can go back from the sides, it really makes for a really smooth experience. I think a lot of you will like this software. Now, in terms of the wallpaper selection, pretty nice. You also have these kind of like live-like wallpapers. They, they move and stuff when you use them. So. Pretty neat touch here as well, and if you like wallpapers from the community, there's this little section where people shoot photos with their OnePlus, and then you can go ahead and download their photos as a wallpaper. Really nice touch, I would say, if you care about wallpapers. Anyway, enough of wallpapers. Let's talk now about the photo quality here. So we're gonna do some more camera samples, but you're definitely gonna get a weaker Sony sensor in here. But still, you can go 10x digital. You can't really do the 30x digital crop that you'll see from the OnePlus 8 Pro. But when you go digital, it doesn't really matter much. So, yeah, this Sony IMX586 sensor is still a pretty good one. You have panoramic modes, time lapse on this phone, portrait modes. I mean, you got the stuff you're looking for. It's a clean camera UI, very easy to use and to learn. It's really not hard at all. You do have up to 4K 60 video recording on, on here and 4K Cine. 60 FPS for a cinematic kind of experience. So I think overall, you're still getting quite a bit here when it comes to the camera. Although it's not gonna be the best sensor in the industry, the focus I find to be pretty good, both video and photo so far. Now, when it comes to the actual results of the photos, I find the photos to come out pretty vibrant. So they're not gonna be the most natural color out of the gate, but again, you can tweak them out how you like, but they're gonna be pretty vibrant photos. And discussing the battery life on this phone, 4,300 milliamp hours, that should be enough to get through a day. And how about the phone call quality? That also should be quite good with many band support that you'll need. And just like the OnePlus 8 Pro on your right there, this phone does come with 5G as well. Now, it's not the fastest 5G out there, but it's still pretty darn good. It's gonna be faster than LTE for certain. Now, I will say that the OnePlus 8 does come with a new type of store well, and it comes with a very fast type of storage ufs 3.0 two lane storage so the storage speeds when transferring is going to be very fast now you can brighten up this the phone as well and you can see it has a very nice display but you can also tweak it to however you like this display to look like it doesn't matter how it looks in the video right now you can tweak it to your exact liking there's many modes and it's a very smooth and a crisp display overall, I would say. So you're getting quite a lot for $699 here. I mean, there are some competitors not giving you this type of, you know, this type of spec for $699. So there is still something to be had here if you want a flagship level device and you don't want to play, pay like a thousand bucks for one. So let's go ahead and take a look now at the nylon bumper case for this device. Now, this one, I've seen before, we've seen this on a lot of OnePlus devices before. It's actually one of my favorite cases for the OnePlus, and popping it on here on the OnePlus 8, you can see it kind of covers up the Interstellar Glow, so I don't know how, how many are gonna be feeling this if you buy the Interstellar Glow, but still, if you get tired of looking at the color and getting fingerprints and you just want some grip, maybe later on get a nylon case for this phone. And let's take a look at the Sansone Scion case for this device. Now, this matches better with the you know the new glacial green color but still you know really grippy if you guys want a really grippy case this one is going to be the one to offer that the sandstone just adds a level of grip you don't see in a lot of other cases and uh, i think this matches this color a little bit better than the nylon case but still it's kind of how it looks and it does have good lip protection so if you do place this thing on a table uh, it won't hit the screen or anything like that. And the OnePlus 8 does come with a pre-installed screen protector. Unfortunately, you cannot use the wireless charger on this one. It doesn't support wireless charging. That's a little bit unfortunate for this phone. And so in conclusion, my first impressions of this phone, I think, again, you have another value pack Android smartphone here. Um, I'm not liking no wireless charging. I think it's $699. That's a bit ridiculous. We should see that here on this phone as well. But other than that, there's not really much to complain about with this phone. You could buy whatever you want, but this is just another good option, I think, in this segment. I mean, not th this is kind of what you would get from Samsung for like a thousand bucks. So really, it's kind of just down to your own preference and what you prefer.
That, that's really the name of the game anymore. Because all these phones coming out are just really fantastic these days. It's hard to get a bad phone in 2020. And the OnePlus 8 is just another good option for you. So make your choice on what, what's going to be for you. If you guys found this video helpful, entertaining, and informing, click the like button for me. And let me know what you want to see going forward. I'll catch you all in the next one. And peace.